Today for oh it is on Wednesday. It's on Wednesday already. There you go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, Jose. He's looking for kids that are sitting crisscross applesauce. Ready, Jose? 
Well, why don't you get one that you can borrow? Remember, you can borrow a name? Let's go get a name. Well, I'm going to show you one you can borrow. That's why I'm here to help you. I'm looking for one that doesn't have a lot of writing on it, like that. You can use that one, okay? Do you remember that you're using that one? Thank you for cleaning up, Jessica. Can you play somewhere else until they have a space open? So what you do? Oh, let's we'll see how space fits. All right, good job. Try and put all your fingers in there. And you can choose any one you like to put your hand in. Very good. Okay, go wash your hand now. Okay, face. You get to write your name. Once you wash your hands, then. So, Faith, you can write your name anywhere you like around your hand, print, okay? But right now, you need to be working at Writing Center, and when I call your name, you can be next. Good job. Thank you. Very good. You may go to the center now. Michelle, Michelle, what color would you like? Pink. Okay. 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 And you get, yes, and you get to decide where you want to put your handprint. Okay. Do I write this teacher? No, you just write your name. See the way Faith did? Well, Faith draw that. Yeah. Let me draw it. Right? No, you just write your name right by your handprint. Very good. That was your picture. How do you know? Right here. Uh, 
What do you know about seeds? Anything else than a flower? Okay, good job, Faith. Thank you, honey. Sydney? Hey, Sydney, come sit down with me. Can you tell me about this chart right here? Start picking up blocks. I'm gone. I need you boys, boys to start picking up blocks, okay? Let's see how we're putting those up there, Alexis. How are we cleaning? Remember how we did yesterday? Start here. 
Guitars. Oh my goodness. Good job, David. Thank you for cleaning up. And Carlos and Jose. I want to do it. Pushing in chairs, thank you. Sydney's picking up Play-Doh. Okay, Nola, go put that down, honey. Oops. Well, you know what? We're not going to do that because it's time to sit on the carpet. I just need to put paper towel in the trash. Here's the trash. Ten. Nine. Delaney, go move a clothespin. Eight. Seven. Six. Only cleaning monitors are up. Five. Four, three, who's sitting on the carpet? Crisscross applesauce. Two, go ahead. Two and a half. Delaney, Yvonne, and Michelle, you can go finish up. And one. Jessica, you need to sit. Thank you, Alexis Klein. Thank you to Jose for sitting nicely. Okay, so today we're going to do science instead of math. And I'm going to wait till everybody's sitting to learn. I'm looking at your bodies and I'm wondering, are you ready? I see Jose, Jesus is ready. Ivan, you're going to scoot up. So what are we learning about in science? Remember, you're going to raise a hand. What do you know, Jessica? Science, we're going to do We're learning about plants. What else, Ines? We're learning about plants and We're learning about plants and seeds. And Nola? We're learning about how plants and seeds grow. We're learning about how plants and seeds grow. What did we do yesterday for science? Do you remember? We sang. We sang a song. About what, David? About plants. Let's go ahead and sing that song to start us off. Jessica. So plant in the ground, gather in the 
So for science today, I'm going to draw something. I'm going to see if you can remember the names of these things. Gezin, I need everybody sitting. Here's the earth. What, what is this right here? Roots. Raise your hand. Delaney, what is that called? Roots. What Does anybody know what the root does? Good, Delaney. Uh-huh, because it um, helps the plant stay up straight. It helps the plant stay up straight. There's like another important bones, job. Um, like our, our bones. bones. I like that you made that connection. Like our bones make us <coughs> stay strong if and straight. We had to go like this. Yeah, we get floppy, and a plant would get floppy too. What else does do roots do that are real important? <coughs> They suck up water and go up to the stem. Right. So they keep the plant up straight. And when water goes down into the earth, they suck up the water like a straw. And the water goes up into the plant. So, and then the next part is this. And who remembers what this is called? Steps. Hey, Seuss. Stem. A stem. What does a stem do? Raise your hand if you know. Oh, Faith, what does a stem do? Um, a stem helps the roots suck up the water to help the stem go up and up and up <coughs> so it can make a flower. Okay, so when the roots suck up water, it makes the stem grow. Very good. What else does a stem do? 
David, what do you think a stem does? I think the stem does something important for a flower. So it gets so it gets something important happens for the flower. Okay. Maybe, maybe it makes life. Nola. Um, the stem is like an elevator pushing the water up. Very good. You remember the song. The stem is like an elevator. It pushes the water up. And where does that water go next? To the flower. Paula. Anna. To the flower. It goes to the flower. And then there's something else that comes to the stem. Oh. I'm going to draw that now. Oh, I like how you're raising your hands. Good job. Ivan, do you know what this is? Really? Can I help him out, Kesson? Leaf. Very good. It's a leaf. Who knows what job it is for the leaf? What does the leaf do? What does the leaf do, Faith? Um, it helps. Um, it the it sucks up the sun and it makes air for everyone, even good the animals. Good job. So it sucks up the sunlight. And it gives air for animals and everyone. And it also takes in air. Like we breathe in and we breathe out. Mm-hmm. We breathe in and we breathe out just like a like a plant leaf does. And our next part. And there's something in the middle of the flower. Oh, oh, you're so smart. Carlos. The pollen. The pollen. And what do we know about the pollen? Oh, no. <laughs> it makes the flower. It makes the flower. And what has to happen? What has to happen uh, for the pollen to make another flower? David, you know. Um, it has to make um, the flower says to the birds that take my pollen. The flower is so pretty that the birds and insects say, come take my pollen. Right. Good job, David. And they, um, so the birds can put it on another flower, and then it oh. makes a prettier one. Share with your friends something that you learned about flowers. Yeah, come on. <coughs> I learned that. Oh, I learned that. Oh, here, next time. That plants help restore the original Okay, I, my dad, and my dad and teacher both told me they told me that flowers are so pretty that they say, "Come take my pollen," and it attracts and brings the bees to and lots of honey to come to the flowers to take the nectar and pollen. Okay, give me five. Okay, I heard some very polite manners. Who can share with me what they what their friend said? Do you remember what your friend said, uh, Delaney? Do you remember what your friend said? Yes, he said her mom and her teacher. No, my dad and my teacher. Her dad and her teacher said that um that bees and um birds come take um flowers from their pollen and they take it to another flower. <laughs> oh good, I like that you were listening to Faith. Who else can share what their friends said? Sebastian? They can grow any parts. Are you listening Alexis? That's what you said? Do you remember what Nola said? I'm going to ask Nola again what she said and then I'll ask you. Anna, do you remember what your friend said? The, the flower needs the air. 
Okay. The flower needs air, sun, soil, and water. And who said that? Anna. Oh, Angela. Angela. Good listening, wasn't it? Do you know, Sebastian, now what uh, Nola said? Um, Thank you, boys and girls, for being such good listeners. I like the way Gaz is sitting. That plants are important. Oh, to the earth because they keep it beautiful. Good job listening, Sebastian. Okay, put your eyes up here. We have a new word of the day. It's a long word. And I'm going to say it first, and then we're going to clap it out, okay? So put your listening ears on. Turn your lips off. Let me see your body. Crisscross applesauce, David and Alexis. It says photosynthesis. And we're going to say that together. Ready? Yeah. Oh.